Here's a familiar story. You take a practice LSAT and score about 10 points short of your target. What do you do? You take another exam. Lo and behold, your score is about the same. So you take another one, and another one, and another one. Each time your score is barely moving upward, if at all, maybe even downward. You get frustrated, you panic, you reconsider law school and look at brochures for that clown college as a backup. It all starts piling up. Why am I not improving? What am I doing wrong? The problem? You're testing yourself too much and not training enough. Practice exams simply measure your performance. What actually leads to score improvement is training. Very different. Many people mistakenly believe that the best way to improve is to test yourself over and over again, dozens of times. But this is analogous to training for a marathon by, well, just doing a bunch of marathons. You burn out, you hurt yourself, and you typically don't improve all that much. Marathon training requires something more and different than just running full-length races repeatedly. Fair enough, you say, but how can you train for the LSAT? First, you need a coherent system so you can see connections between questions and focus on weaknesses. Have trouble with sufficient questions? Don't just wait for those to show up on a time test. Understand the common thread to all the sufficient questions you're missing. Also, review everything you do, no matter what. This is what enables you to spot patterns in the first place. If you really want to practice timing strategies, train with single sections. By doing single sections, you can review right after the 35 minutes, learn from your mistakes, fine-tune your approach, and go at it again. We've found that with practice exams, only six, that's right, six, are really necessary to become familiar with the test pace and length. Doing much more than that prevents you from actually training and gives the illusion of preparation. So remember, practice exams only show you where you are now, but training before and in between those exams will get you to where you want to be on test day.